All right, guys, so today I'm on my way to meet Miles Henderson, who's a long time and very experienced martial artist. He's done a whole range of styles, all different stuff. He's traveled all over China, Southeast Asia, Eastern Europe. Um, but specifically for this video, he's gonna talk to us about Tian Family Bagua, which he learnt in Beijing. And this is quite a different style of Bagua to the stuff that you normally see. systems is to sit, to raise, to twist, and then you have the resultant swan in the arms. So the, the and then with the walking, it's this idea that with the zhuo and the ding, mm. I can I can capture this idea of not necessarily unless I need to, but if I need to have the power like I'm pushing a car, yeah, so you can, I, I have to. You've got that brain, that but kind of like a sprinter about to. But if I don't have to push the car, yeah, and I'm, I'm about concealing what I do or speed like I'm sprinting through something. Yeah. Well it's more this dropping sort of feel. Oh, right, yeah. So 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 one of the you know, you, you see and it's typical like we are working through some of this sort of no um, impact running where you lift and you and you fall. It's like a constant falling. Yeah. So I haven't really seen this in other styles. I'm sure it exists but we just call it qi luo. Qi luo. Yeah like rising rising and falling. Fall. Qi mm -hmm. luo. Yeah. yeah. Cause that cause that cause that natural sort of feeling of where you can be here <coughs> yeah through yeah. it's like you know whatever it might be yeah. just finish him <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so, 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 so bearing that in mind as, as we go so some of the like the basic principles then in terms of the you know in terms of our interaction so one is that you should avoid incoming vector mm -hmm. i should try and take your balance because yeah. if i haven't taken your balance i haven't earned your right to really to do anything else mm -hmm. come on we can brawl it but yeah and then I should basically be doing what you tell me yeah. is your weakness and mm. I can exploit. Mm. Not thinking that I should you know, try and run yeah. and do a technique when yeah. in fact you're fully balanced yeah. and just counter me, whatever. Mm. So the um, so one of the things that when we do this, so I get a punch coming through, is it becomes then, because I've slanted off, I end up with a lot, a lot of stuff that's happening with the lead, whichever lead hand I had. Mm. So if I, if I keep that, ideally to take the balance, then it's a question of what do I do mm. from, from where I am. Mm. And then that depends again what, what I've done in terms of creating tension. So in this particular instance, I might go to there. And here it doesn't really matter what the, um, the, the feeling is. If you screw up, because one of the things with Mr. Tian, well, typical of his system, which I'm sure is typical of most other systems that fight, is that, you know, essentially I can throw you but I may not necessarily get thrown. Mm. But if I can take balance, I, I can exploit it. So one of the things, if I can so you know, you know, you pull you, but I, if I push you, yeah. that's one thing, but if I can push you and then change direction, mm. that's something. Mm. You know, maybe I'm lucky enough to get the dead balance, taking the balance, and I go here, here, and then <laughs> hit. Yeah, because I'm sort of jolting there to keep my balance. So a lot of the throws are in fact about, say I'm here, bang, it's just like I don't have to, mm. I, I just have to have gone up, oh. yeah, or here. Hey, mm -hmm. it's like I'm not necessarily. I can go. You don't have to finish the throw. Yeah, you don't need to go all the way, way down. You just do it enough to upset my balance. To, yeah, but it's just enough to exploit it's that idea. As you were saying, I don't really want your arm, but you know, I can do something that takes the balance. Or mm. I want you, mm. which is essentially the you know, main targets. Mm. If I can't reach them. Now I can reach them, and it's essential. And if it's even better, I can go. Ah, now I can yeah. reach them. That's sort of uh, it's sort of, 
So, so it becomes in a, when we talk about principles based martial arts, that's mm -hmm. a series of principles. Yeah. I mean, the crazy thing, of course, in the system is that then you have quite complex Taolu. Yeah. But in a sense, if you, if you in the, within the system context, there is much about teaching a way of teaching where the weaknesses are rather than the main game. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. But I'm just thinking, like, the most characteristic thing is circle walking. We would talk yeah. a bit about that. Sure, yeah, yeah. First, so, you know, people get an idea. Because okay. the thing is, I've, a lot of people still now even believe that so, literally yeah. walking around you in a circle yeah, and yeah, yeah. they're going to fight you like this. But, I mean, I know that's not the case. Yeah. But, but, no, yeah, it's nice well, to... My favourite well, one is, like, and I mean, all power for the guy uh, who competed, I think it was one of these full contact performances back in yeah, the late 80s or mm -hmm. something like that. In Taiwan. In Taiwan. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, anyone's going to go to a full contact competition, fantastic, but he wants everyone to see his style. Oh, so he really did it. Yeah, and then of course someone just comes through. <laughs> oh, you know, it's like, no. it's like, and he goes down because it's the wrong, so it's like doing, showing your plyometrics as your mm. system. It's just a developmental exercise. Yeah. And then everything's about attributes, mm. which I guess is a good segue for the yeah. exercise. What do you want? What's the skill or the attribute you want to develop? Mm -hmm. It's not about I'm just doing a style, and therefore everyone has to see that I'm doing the style. Yeah. It's what 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 is it developing? Mm -hmm. So in the in the Tian family, not unlike other systems, essentially you know potted potted way if you like. The the, the first thing you have to understand is just the, this idea of zuo and di, mm -hmm. but they're nice and relaxed. So you have these circles, and then essentially this pattern, which for people who do Chen style uh, Tai Chi Chen, it's not going to be too wild. It's, it's That's what I was thinking when, actually, when I saw some of the videos before, because yeah. uh, I, I looked Mr. Tian up before and I saw it, and I thought, this it does look a lot like Chen and Tai Chi the way it is. Yeah. yeah. And who knows? Yeah. Ideas go back and forth. But anyway, in the system, it's, it's this very natural sort of circle. I then worry about I then what's happening with my hips, but I never really emphasize too much about stances. Hmm. So you're learning this before circle, 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 circle. this is the first thing that you do. You're nice and nice and relaxed, and essentially those circles then start to then they just change, and you've got it's essentially you're either doing that or you're doing this, but with door ding mm. ning, and the more you get that working, the arms will have that result. And yeah, I'm sort of twist. So I don't twist them themselves. Mm. It's got to come from where yeah. I move. Um, you know, I can fixate on a point. Yeah. And pull from it, silk reel if you like, and then I kind of get the, the swine. Yeah. So, I mean, just, just to clarify then, zuo means to sit down, ding means to press up, yeah. ning means to twist, and what, what, swan, which swan, so swan is? Swan is like spiral. Oh, okay. But, it's, but the idea is that it's, a, it's kind of like, essentially you move between, you know, the uh, supination and pronation if we want, yeah. but essentially an outside swan. Right, okay. And an inside swan. Oh, okay, yeah. And so it's, but, Ideally, you create those with the way that the body moves, mm. and then with the sit and the raise, emphasizes the corkscrew. Mm. And yeah, you can use the sit and the raise for taking balance. So obviously, yeah. sit, you yeah, raise, raise, yeah. I can get underneath, yeah, or vice versa. Mm. Raise and Drop. sit, yeah. It gives me the that sort of hopefully more hidden, yeah, power. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. So the key key things were well, in terms of the difference. Um, is that the feeling is more that you're with the Tian family. The circle is essentially a repetition of uh, hook, tips, hook steps and swing steps. Yeah. So essentially you're working with those. And so when I asked him, oh, what's the purpose of walking? Cobble by wall, cobble by wall. Yeah, cobble. yeah. Hook, swing, hook, swing. Yeah. So you re repeat it. Mechanics wise, by fixating on the centre, and one of the differences, if you like, or between that and the systems that I know, anyway, is that you turn, you look to the centre, so rather than facing the centre, mm. I turn away from the centre. Ah, uh, okay. And I've got to keep, this is a still point, and this, so from the basic position here, if I, you know, I'm relaxed, I fixate, I turn away, the gaze has, I can, well, I can move my head, and I don't move my hands. Mm. And as a result of that, you should end up with a twist, it's the, yeah. the T-bar sort of thing. And then you essentially walk. Mm. You've got to try and keep that feeling.
And is it a much smaller? It looks like you're going to do a much smaller circle then. Because I did the inside bag a oh, yeah, yeah. long, long time ago. So yeah, it's a very big circle, and yeah, like you say, you turn yeah. into the center and you do the, the sliding, the sliding step. Right? I probably did it completely wrong. I've done it for like ten years. But... Depends on the system. Yeah. Every system has probably different ways. Like yeah. only in, in, in terms, of, I can talk about changing glass system mm -hmm. a little bit too, of course. But the, in terms of the chain system, then the size of the circle is essentially dependent on how much oh, okay. of that attribute you want to develop. Oh, okay. The smaller it is, the, the, the tighter the, the twist, mm. the wider it is, the less um, twisty, if you like. Yeah. So in terms of the walking, it should be no different to your everyday walking, except you emphasize the, the knee. Right. So, so, the, so it should be, it's essentially a bicycle movement. Oh, okay. You know, butt, knee, foot, knee, foot, and so it's a, and it should be, as you know, it's to, you don't want to be doing this. Yeah. And you don't want to be pushing your way through. It has to be just you know, you know just walking that normal normally, but you're aware of the, that central joint. Right. The knee. And then you all you do is that over time it increases it increases as if someone's pulling your knee. And that even though in a circle you don't bob and up and down, yeah. The idea is that I should feel very light and relaxed mm -hmm. with it. I mean, you can add conditioning elements and things as yeah. well. But the, and then the size of the circle, like a big circle, like we normally follow the line of it like this, smaller circle, they change. So I shouldn't ever try to you know, really emphasize because then you, you lose the, the natural flow. Mm. So in the system, then you have basically from this position then. The different different changes that allow you to change direction and give you basic mechanics. So, if I start from the, I should feel the twist, but not so much that I then once I start to do this, you know, I'll give lost lost all the So I just nice and relaxed, but I should keep the sense of where the, the center is. If I get really pedantic, I should try and keep a still point. So you feel each time is kind of, but you just relax. And when you change, now I've changed, that's the first party. And then you just get variations on, on that. Just to show a couple. And then through, and you know, and that's, you have a series of basics like that. You also have the basic animal sets. So you have python. Hawk, uh, lion. Tiger. Bear. Snake. Uh, you have the horse, which is this grinding sort of it's, you know, whichever, whichever variation that you want. And that's the core of the, of the system essentially. So I'll just do it nice and slow.